Hi y'all, Shauna here. So today I wanted to share Charlie's five month update with you. He is officially five months old and a week, so I'm a little late, um, but a lot has changed. He is growing so fast and so, he's amazing. Those little scratches from him, because he has decided he loves to grab your face and kiss you. And sometimes mommy forgets to cut his nails. Um, but he is doing awesome. Um, so I have a couple things that I want to update you guys on. One of the first things that was new that he started doing the past couple months is rolling over. So about three and a half months, he started rolling from his back to his stomach, <clears throat> which was funny because he hated tummy time. And so he'd roll himself onto his stomach and then he'd get really mad at it, but he couldn't figure out how to roll back. <clears throat> and then about, about, a, I don't know, two, three weeks later, he figured out how to roll the other way. So now he's rolling all over the place. Um, because of that, he now sleeps on his stomach, which was a little unnerving at first. I will admit, I watched him sleep the first few times. Um, but the, the doctor said it was fine. As long as he's able to roll on his own, just let him do it. You can't stop him, basically. Um, so we did upgrade our bed. We had a very soft pillow top queen size bed in our room. But I'm co-sleeping. We co-sleep a lot for... For the most part, we have been his whole life, and with the pillow top mattress, it was so soft. I was really worried once he started sleeping on his stomach, so basically the next week after that, we went out and bought a new bed. And so we got a king-size bed, which I'd been wanting forever, and we got one that's more firm, so he doesn't like sink into it like he did with our pillow top. Um, so that was a big change. He is now reaching for toys, putting everything in his mouth. He's starting to scoot around. So he got, he has the going backwards, like he can push himself backwards. He's trying to pull himself forward. It was really funny yesterday, actually, he grabbed carpet and like pulled himself forward to try to get a toy. So that was funny. Um, he follows me. He tries to follow me around. So like if I'm playing on the floor with him and I get up and walk away, he'll like scoot his body as much as he can to wherever I went to try to follow me. Or if I sit down somewhere, he'll turn around and try to climb up on my lap, which is so cute. Um, he's definitely a mama's boy. Um, what else is new? So he laughs, which he's been laughing for a while, but he's got he's getting more of a sense of humor. He's also getting very stubborn and ornery. Um, he hates to be put in his car seat, and he arches his back and throws and twists his body and throws a temper tantrum every time you try to put him in his car seat. And he's just, he's got a little personality and he's not afraid to show it. <laughs> um, it's pretty cute. Um, we also started doing solids about four and a half months. We started doing purees. Um, we've been having trouble with him gaining weight, which I'd mentioned previously. And it just got to the point where I was like, okay, I, we talked to the doctor and she said, you know, as long as he's showing interest, then you guys can start it. So we decided to start purees. <clears throat> I had planned on doing baby, baby led weaning, but he just wasn't straight quite strong enough in his core to start that already and I wanted to go ahead and start getting food into him so we just started doing purees I am making all of his baby food at the moment um, all of his purees and he loves it he loves sweet potatoes and carrots um, apples bananas he loves um, he's not a huge fan of avocado but I mix it with banana and he's good um, he's not a huge fan of zucchini but I mix it with sweet potatoes and he likes it so we're trying lots of different stuff and we're trying basically every three to four days or so, I try something new. But I'm just sticking to fruits and vegetables at the moment. Um, and he loves it. He loves to eat. He's eating twice a day right now. So he has breakfast at daycare or on the weekends we give him breakfast around 8 o'clock. And then in the evenings around 6-ish, we give him dinner. <clears throat> and about it's about um, two to three ounces worth of food every twice a day. So that's what he's doing. He's also... Just recently, so as I've mentioned previously, I've been having trouble keeping up with how much he's eating breast milk wise. Um, and I was <clears throat> hoping adding the purees would kind of ease that on that burden and I would be able to keep up better, but I still just really wasn't able to keep up with him. So we have started giving him one bottle of formula a day at daycare. They give him one bottle a day. And it has helped a lot when I when I measured when I weighed him. We went to the doctor just a couple days ago because he was sick, and he was weighing 13 pounds five ounces. So he's gained a lot just in this past just in this past month. He's gained a lot. Um, he was still only a little over 12 pounds when I weighed him last month, like last like a couple few weeks ago. 
so he's gained a lot just in a short period of time just with the adding purees and adding the formula so I'm happy about that um sleep <clears throat> is okay um he was doing ever since he started daycare he was having really hard nights and I think I mentioned this in this three month update he was basically up playing nurse all night long um and so I was hoping adding the purees would help it didn't really he was still laying a nurse all night long so but once we added the formula bottle during the day and a second helping of purees in the morning it's helped so much he's back to sleeping for like a five hour stretch at the beginning of the night waking up going to nurse and then going back to sleep for the most part like last night was really bad he was he couldn't sleep last night because he's teething now um and so he kept waking up like screaming in pain but for the most part he's is sleeping better um on that note he is teething i can feel one little tooth almost about to break through the skin but he's in a lot of pain poor little guy he like i said he just wakes up screaming in pain and he's rubbing his cheeks and he's chewing on everything um he'll grab my fingers and stick my fingers in his mouth to chew on them and <clears throat> poor guy he's in pain i feel bad but it's part of growing up um so what else we're still breastfeeding so for the most part he's still exclusively breastfed except for that one formula bottle i guess you can't say exclusive anymore he's still mostly breastfed except for that one formula bottle during the day and then we've added in the food um we do all organic vegetables and fruits i don't know if i mentioned that <clears throat> i make it all on my own we don't do any canned anything which nothing against that i just my preference um and i don't really have the time for it, but I'm making the time to do it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. He's doing great. He has really gotten his own personality and it's cute. Everyone at daycare loves him. Even the other parents have come up to me and just been like, he's the most fun, happy baby. And he is, he is a joy. And I think I've tried really hard. One of the YouTubers I watch, um, Vazir, I can't say her last name, Beauty. I'll leave her linked below but she has a little boy Carter and he's always seen he always seems so happy and I asked her like what is your secret how do you have such a happy baby and she said that she always just tries to be happy around him and so I've really tried to take that into heart and whenever I'm around him like I'm always smiling and happy and laughing with him and I try really hard even if my husband and I are like in a fight or something I'm like with this can wait till later like I don't want to we're not having this conversation if it's like a mean or like if we're mad at each other or something I'm like we're not doing this in front of uh, in front of Charlie like we're just not so I try really hard to be happy and he is just it's not hard because he's the happiest baby ever and he's a flirt he loves to smile and flirt with you and like I said he's gotten to now where he'll like grab you he'll grab your face and pull you to him or he'll like wrap his arms around you and cuddle his little head into your neck and it's adorable it's really cute um but that's it he's doing good i'm doing good um he loves daycare every morning when i drop him off he gives his teacher this big old smile and reaches out to her um and everything's going good we're still cloth diapering that's going awesome since he started solids it's and formula it's a little grosser because i don't know if you guys are familiar with diaper cloth diapering but breastfed babies they're poop is water soluble so I didn't rinse them out or anything I would just throw them in the wash but now that he is having solids and breast milk you have to rinse the diapers out first before you throw them in the wash it's a little gross but I still love cloth diapering I don't even with that little gross aspect being added on I wouldn't change it cloth diapering are still working great for us um and that's it so thank you guys for staying tuned and I hope to see you soon Bye, y'all.